Yes, you're still on to the economy today. And today we're looking at uh, the relationship between uh, Nigeria and uh, that, uh, Chinese, the Chinese government now and the Lekki uh, Free Zone. Uh, you look at it very well, you see that there's a partnership between the two countries uh, on the free zone and how to actually develop it. Uh, and so today I'm in the office of the managing director of uh, the free zone. He's a Chinese man. Uh, his name is Jin uh, Jin Bin. I hope I pronounced that very yeah, well. Yeah, that's correct. Thank All you right. Very much. Uh, yeah. uh, so my first question is here: is uh, what is the shareholding structure? Okay. So uh, I'm uh, very delighted to be interviewed today. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is John Bin. I'm the managing director of the Lucky Free Zone uh, Investment Company. So I've been just appointed uh, 50, 50 days ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, very fresh and a very a newcomer. I'm a newcomer here. But however, uh, by myself, it was uh, the first time uh, when I remember that uh, that was the back to 20 years ago, almost mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. During that time, I was the uh, the witness. Uh, I was witnessing the inception of the uh, this zone, lucky free zone. Because uh, uh, at that time I was serving for the Minister of uh, Commerce in China. Okay. Uh, so another uh, word that uh, I've been observing uh, the uh, you know uh, setting up and development of the zone itself. So uh, back to our question. So uh, the structure of the joint venture is something like that. Uh, Sixty percent uh, from the part of the investment. Is goes to uh, going to the uh, Chinese part. We call it China Africa uh, Investment. Uh, okay, uh, it is a China Africa Lucky Investment. We call it Kali on 60% of the shares. Where Lagos state government has 40%. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, now um, there should be a benefit for both. Is it a benefit for just one party or benefit for the two? No, of course, we call it joint venture, something like, you know, in the professional world, it's called the SPV, Special Purpose Vehicle. Mm. So it's a very, you know, the uh, professional one that uh, we see this is uh, benefiting for old shareholders, not only from one part, but as old shareholders, including the investors, our clients, or maybe uh, in terms of construction, the trading, the uh, OM, operation, the maintenance, and also for the uh, next stage, we're going to attract more and more investors in dealing, you know, promotion, the, uh, the idea, the concept of the, tra of the, of the park, of the, the, the zone as well. Yeah. Oh. So there's something that will share the, this kind of uh, uh, experiences. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's look at it. You know, the. The Chinese, uh, we are from the Asian part of the world. They, they call them the Oriental people, and mm -hmm. uh, there's a culture. Mm -hmm. You have a culture, and then yeah. this is Africa, this is Nigeria. Nigeria mm -hmm. is diverse with a lot of cultures. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is the cultural conformity in, in the here now? Okay. Uh, like myself, uh, take myself as an example, you know, uh, it's been uh, uh, more than 30 years I've been working uh, in this region. We call it the Middle East and the African region. Mm. So it's kind of something like you know diversifying for the culture. Uh, that's the mix. The lots of uh, intensive exchanges between the different cultures. You know as well, the China is one of the biggest or largest developing countries in the world. Mm. And so now we are uh, the uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, Production in terms of uh, the domestic uh, uh, market, I mean conception market, and also especially uh, you may well, well well know that China is one of the biggest uh, manufacturing, uh, as uh, yes. people call it. Yeah. Yes. So uh, nowadays, uh, you know, along with the uh, development, uh, I mean the go globalization, or uh, inter uh, how to say industrialization, China uh, with this. A very, you know, in a very uh, three decades or four decades, has been improved in all those sectors, not only industrial, but also, you know, some the culture and the uh, uh, concept, and also management, administration. Uh, we call it in general, uh, it's kind of a capacity building, 
or restructuring. Yeah. Uh, which we're, now we're sharing our experiences with all of our partners, partners including Africa, uh, you know, friendly countries such as Nigeria. Mm. Uh, and also we share our experiences in Nigeria and with Nigeria and with Ethiopia, Tanzania, and North Africa as well, the, like uh, Egypt, mm. uh, and the Middle East, like uh, Saudi Arabia or the uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, Etc. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, mm -hmm. This it looks like a very good investment. Like the mm -hmm. Chinese is structurally trying to cover the whole of Africa one way or the other. Of course. And, uh, so um, let's uh, look at it again. Um, there must be some challenges, mm -hmm. you know, and these challenges too should have uh, some possible solutions. So I'm yeah. sure there are mm -hmm. a lot of challenges uh, you will be faced. Uh, Mm -hmm. presently right now and probably mm -hmm. will be faced uh, in the future so uh, what will be the challenge these challenges and also possible uh, solutions okay let's see the from uh, different you know aspects or different points let's be uh, make it break down one one by one first of all in terms of the industrial that uh, since the inception of the the lucky free zone mm. we were promoting uh, those kind of uh, uh, factories in the uh, uh, we call it primary, uh, such as including uh, the processing, uh, which including the assembly or uh, processing production of the food, mm. beverage, and also uh, byproducts mm. by importing some raw materials and semi products and assembly here. Uh, you know, during five to up to ten years, uh, we uh, those investors. Uh, not only from China, from globally, like India, like some other neighboring countries, Lebanon or some other Middle East, uh, they were benefit. Uh, they have been benefiting lots from the incentives that was given by the uh, federal government as well as the uh, local government for Lagos. Mm -hmm. In terms of you know uh, something like you know taxation exempt, we can enjoy that, and also very facilitated in logistics. And also, as well as the uh, the policy incentives, uh, we call it stimuli, stimulating, uh, stimulate, stimulation uh, by the customs. Uh, especially, I want to uh, highlight focus on NIPSA. On the basis of uh, NIPSA Act, which was founded in year 1992, and also have been uh, amendment revised, I you know, three times up to the uh, year 2010, I think. Okay, that was back to the history, but uh, recently we are promoting, you know, some new fresh ideas and concepts, uh, bringing from China, from Japan, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Middle East, from Europe as well. Like our promotion, you know, like something like offshore industrial, uh, including offshore uh, financing, offshore uh, trading, uh, logistics as well, because you know, uh, the logistics is pretty much like something like uh, our like our blood in our body. So uh, once we uh, uh, bring lots of resources, those resources consist of you know, the uh, by e either by air, by sea, or by road. So it all demands to very fast, efficient connections, uh, communications. And as well as the, you uh, know, uh, maybe inland, online, offline, or inland, uh, online, or offline. So that's all bring new idea for those investors, especially manufacturers. They may, in previous, think of just selling their products, you know, producing inside the zone and sell it to the uh, local market. But, uh, you know, uh, along with the development of the uh, Nigeria uh, as a whole, and also the uh, Lagos, uh, most specifically, because Lagos, it witness, it witness, witnessing very you know advantage, relatively uh, comparatively advantage uh, positions, strategic positions here. Uh, however, we're facing uh, one critical uh, you know challenge is coming from the uh, how to say, uh, let's say it's, uh, maybe. Another word more uh, appropriate that the people 
have to a better understanding or better explanation of the existing incentive policies. The people. Yeah. Okay. I mean, here, okay. for also yeah, officers here uh, uh, coming from the customs, from the ministries level or federal level or even the uh, state level, mm. uh, especially those people are serving for our class, for our investors. If you uh, come down to our building, we have one-stop services. That means initially we want to give those potential investors or manufacturers such kind of a, a package plan of services, including, you know, uh, NIPSA uh, uh, policy incentives, uh, a consultant, and also as well the very quick and efficient uh, custom services, you know, something like a clearance, clearing the good, uh, wh uh, whatever input ox uh, or export their products, uh, the plus the immigration uh, you know, for expatriate, uh, those procedures, uh, etc. So we call it one stop service. One stop service. One stop. Service. Yeah, service. It's and more, that is how you guys yeah, how, from a how people feel very yeah. Okay. So, but now, uh, so the ch big challenge is from the how to um, utilize those kind of incentives, existing ex incentives, and to promote or get improved or up upgrade, updated those kind of policies according with the uh, the path, uh, the progress of the uh, uh, ongoing production or promotion of their manufacturing as well as the trading for uh, the FDI, foreign development, uh, for direct, direct investors. Yes. So. All right, um, uh, we'll go for a very short break now. When I'm back, I'll be asking more questions uh, from the ND. Welcome back, you're still on to the economy today. And uh, like I said, we're looking at uh, the Chinese uh, involvement in the Leggy Free Trade Zone, you know, the partnership with the Lagos State Government uh, and how to actually develop uh, the area. And so, yes, uh, in this my next question, going forward now, uh, the intention of this investment, mm -hmm. actually. What's the intention? Uh, the intention of the investment, of course, uh, well, the intention from uh, inception has been to create you know, more something like, first of all, uh, the uh, employment. So as probably you may know that the um, industry will bring more opportunity, first of all, for the uh, job, jobless uh, mm -hmm. people. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, those people, uh, you know, uh, lack of uh, opportunity, uh, sufficient opportunity to get uh, access to the job, yeah, to the work, uh, for earning their uh, daily uh, expenses, yeah, the the the, the uh, this earnings, yeah, and as well as uh, another thing, most important point is like a uh, technology transfer. So technological uh, transfer. Technological transfer. Yeah. You may well know that China has been uh, just now. I mentioned that uh, being three or four decades. Uh, at the beginning, very in the first place, uh, even China, uh, we have been uh, learned a lot from our neighboring countries, such as Japan, Singapore, uh, even our uh, uh, Taiwan island. Uh, that time, uh, they may very pretty much, you know, advanced in uh, technology transfer or benefit uh, technology transfer from technological transfer from European countries. You know? Uh, so, in the past uh, four decades, mm. uh, China, even itself, has been uh, witnessing big progress in manufacturing, mm. uh, uh, converting from the uh, uh, external technological or, or know-how, or uh, I'll say, uh, turn to the our uh, relay ourselves. Uh, that is uh, the technology from outside developing from outside, the ones in. Of course, yes. definitely uh, inland. So that means a uh, lot of uh, you know uh, colleges and uh, laboratories and also uh, even the incubator uh, invention uh, in incubator mm -hmm. incubator yeah incubators yes. incubator incubators uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course yeah. 
So that's why it may create uh, a more uh, chance opportunity that uh, may leave China like improved uh, capacity to compete with our counterpart you mean, uh, globally. Yeah. So that's why back to ourselves, uh, what we can learn or benefit from China's uh, uh, successful experience in technological transfer. And nowadays, and there are many, you know, it's, we should, uh, in frankly speaking, even inside China, the competition is very strong. Mm. So that's why bring more people come, out, come abroad to seeking for the new opportunity, like say in, in, in the African continent, mm. yeah, globally, especially the, because the Nigeria, uh, you are the, one of the leading countries in terms of you know, raw materials and the main power. And also, your market is well opened worldwide. It's so very close to the, uh, to the EU uh, and also to uh, the Middle East. So people from China, or investors from China, are uh, willing to come here to have their site survey. And after site survey, they may, uh, many people uh, have already informed me that they, they're willing to invest here. Mm. So that's the uh, intention from, uh, first of all, the uh, bring the more job opportunity, and then the their chance to transfer the, their industrial uh, and processing technology into the uh, you know, Nigeria. The last thing is promotion such kind of a concept or idea of uh, how to do the globalization mm -hmm. idea, uh, derive, derive from that idea into the uh, utilization. Yeah break down to the, um, some measures. Uh, all, all right, uh, my next question borders on government change. You know, uh, sometimes administration change, uh, sometimes brings in new policies. Uh, one government assigns a, a particular contract, then yes. the other government comes in, a new government comes in and then says, mm -hmm. oh, we don't want this, or we don't want that. Um, you know, we want this to continue, we don't want it to continue. So mm. uh, will government issues uh, affect uh, this kind of, does a government change? Can it affect this kind of change? And uh, what possible impacts do you think it could have? Mm -hmm. uh, once you, well, we're talking about the government change, I may probably another you know, uh, point of view to explain that. Uh, you know, uh, take China as an example, you know, during the past uh, four decades, mm. There are uh, different, you know, uh, regime, another uh, regime, uh, uh, generations, uh, or, or uh, government. Uh, after five years, ten years, has been changed. There, you uh, know, uh, something like uh, uh, policy. Yeah, we back to you know before the China uh, adopted the, the opening up and the reform. Um, at that time, was a very you know hard time uh, because we just. Uh, to trade off by our you know, sufficient uh, manpower, as well as the uh, maybe relatively cheapest uh, the land, the soil, to trade off, to uh, exchange the uh, foreign uh, direct investment in terms mm. of t technology, processing, and money investment, uh, their capital. So same thing happened maybe uh, now that's ongoing here. So uh, talking about government change, I would like to admire the new government uh, uh, led by the uh, our wise leaders, uh, Mr. Tenupu, uh, Tenupu just uh, uh, you know, a couple of months ago. I've been uh, observing that the policy, I think, is more, how to say, uh, encouraging our people, especially the uh, foreign investors. Because uh, I just mentioned that uh, we're benefiting from uh, uh, it's even back to 30 years ago, uh, your government had been already established such kind of uh, export processing uh, uh, act. It's encouraging originally for attracting the foreign direct investment as well as to instruct people to do some uh, export or re-export oriented industries rather than input. Rather than, uh, I mean, the, uh, just uh, focus on the local demand. So that's the uh, very wise you know, policy incentives. Uh, till now, we've been uh, benefiting from this kind of uh, uh, NEPSA act as well. So I think, uh, I mean, uh, looking forward, 
to our new, ch uh, not challenging, but also advantages. Since you know now, uh, in the Lucky Peninsula, we're benefiting from uh, new types of business. Uh, the Lucky Free Zones, one of that, uh, we are maybe becoming a leading, uh, 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 how to say, uh, uh, the ge uh, geographic uh, point for attracting new kind of uh, types of uh, investment. Mm. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you know, the uh, deep, deep water uh, port has been established, uh, uh, you know, just uh, six months ago. Mm. And also, uh, we're benefiting a lot of, you know, uh, international shipping, garment, uh, shipping company. Uh, they're transporting their cargoes by using this kind of uh, new port. Yeah. Uh, another uh, point is I can bring to you. Uh, we've been told that uh, the uh, Dangote refinery, uh, they have this, such kind of plan. I hope within uh, half or one year, they can initially to do their operation. At that time, we are expecting a new such kind of county or uh, community is becoming uh, bring to the uh, Lucky Peninsula. Uh, something like we, people expected, uh, maybe bring 200,000 mm -hmm. population mm -hmm. come here to establish, uh, build a new town. Yeah, that's the uh, maybe create a new opportunity for the new market and the new idea, new types of business, yeah. Especially will attract more and more people coming from global, yeah. Like uh, European, like America and China, yeah. Uh, 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 all right, this investment uh, should have a projection. Uh, so um, mm. uh, let's look at this, uh, the investment projection highlights now. Okay. What, what do you think it should be like? So recently, uh, those production, or we call it uh, products or program. Uh, first of all, uh, talking about products, uh, those people, I name it, and during the uh, version uh, 1.0. So initially from primary industries like in light industrial, or uh, processing the food beverage, and also uh, assembling, uh, make some you know, uh, specific example. Well, I, I would give you some names. First of all, the CCLE. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the China manufacturing in terms of uh, manufacturing the motorcycle tires. So uh, they are now uh, planning to expand their uh, the land for 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 their uh, new phase of uh, uh, industry, uh, the processing. Uh, the second name is called the uh, Wang Kai New Materials. Uh, this kind of company is producing uh, something like a, a polyethylene PET. Mm. Uh, they can be considered as one of the biggest manufacturer in China. You know, their total capacity for their uh, production in China is around 5 million ton per year, mm. which is the number one in China in producing such kind of PET materials. Okay, because they've been told by us uh, after promotion, after their size survey, they realized the Nigeria is one of the uh, leading critical, you know, strategic uh, base for their the future production plus the uh, trade international trade. So may, they may uh, set up a new, you know, kind of factory here, as well as the uh, uh, warehouse. Uh, in addition to do some import export uh, trading. Okay, this is the second name. Third name. And uh, we're going to, uh, we have already inside our line, they uh, opened their uh, warehouse for their, uh, the final products. Uh, the name called Jinke, Jinke uh, uh, Clean Energy, which is producing a uh, photovoltaic panel. You know, it's something like in terms of a green uh, energy, green uh, industry. Mm. So initially our zone, uh, inside our master plan, we plan to create our, ta our objective, our goal is to initially, uh, eventually to becoming from an industrial zone to uh, uh, the close to the port zone and then to promote it to uh, uh, you know, make it uh, like a future development uh, uh, eventually to some, we call it blue bring industrial uh, new style zone. 
The blue represents implies that close to the ocean, to the water. The green represents implies the clean energy. Mm. So we we'll give this kind of idea to exchange, make some exchange, make some uh, exchange in terms of technology, the industry processing, as well as the uh, new mm. opportunity from the new investors. Yeah. Uh, all, all right. Uh, mm. uh, this final question, um, I, I, I would like you to just give us just basically a minute to answer it, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, just mm -hmm. in a minute, uh, like uh, providing basic infrastructural development mm -hmm. now, whose responsibility and mm -hmm. funding? Responsibility, I think uh, uh, I can say, back to uh, my first thing called SPV, the Special uh, Purpose Vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, was funded by the both side, from the uh, nature side, is main, uh, one of the leading uh, shareholders is the, uh, uh, the Lagos State and also a lucky worldwide investment uh, limited company it also belong to the uh, Lagos State. From China side, one of the uh, state-owned enterprises called CCECC, China uh, Construction Engineering Corporation Company. Uh, also, it's one of the leading uh, uh, expatriate company who has been dealing lots of you know, um, uh, mega projects <coughs> in, in Nigeria uh, in terms of uh, 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 the transportation and the railway construction. But uh, back to our zone, the lucky free trade zone, uh, we call it uh, Lucky Fresh Zone Development Company, FCDC, which is the operating and managing <coughs> company. So uh, I think we are dedicating in serving for the shareholders. Uh, in the fu near future, so we've been benefited a lot from both China and Nigeria. Yeah. So in terms of uh, you know, policy incentives, and also we share the uh, common market and a common concept uh, because we uh, two countries are coming from the developing countries. Yeah. Now that you know, uh, uh, we can enjoy from the belt and the <coughs> road incentives uh, which uh, are proposed by the China uh, President Xi Jinping. Uh, so also I'm uh, very much confident uh, on the new uh, on the government uh, led by uh, His Honorable uh, Mr. Tanubu, uh, your new president. So uh, they may together uh, promote this kind of idea, uh, this communicating cooperation, uh, collaboration between developing countries <coughs> will give us, like a future zone, this kind of joint venture entity, a more chance, opportunity to promote our idea yeah, in the future.